Yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, so what, what kind mm -hmm. of talk did you have with Vitold? Vitold? So, yeah. so well, basically on November 2nd, yeah. we're going to first have a meeting for like about an hour, a regular committee meeting. So there's going to be a few people over there? Uh, Barry's going to be there. Oh, and Barry Randall? Barry Randall, yeah, oh, and possibly great. some other people. So right. I'm probably going to get a ride with Barry. All right. And, and then after... And that's in Chatsworth, right? Yeah, in... she, he lives in Chatsworth yeah. somewhere. Uh -huh. And then uh, after that hour, we'll, we'll do the tour of his house and uh, yeah, talk about be, intentional communities and stuff. That should be impressive to see. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's totally off-grid and everything. Uh-huh. And yeah, so so that's why he scheduled it in the daytime so that we can actually see it. And it's a Saturday, you said, right? Yeah, Saturday. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. 10 a.m. That's great, and it's a good time. Uh, November second, so the mm -hmm. weather's still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he, he had called me because he thought he was confused about coming over to my place and what okay. day. Mm -hmm. I guess he he misunderstood you. Right? Oh, okay. Know. Yeah, that's why he had called me. Oh, okay. Um, Okay, so. it's all good. So, so next Tuesday we're going over to your place uh, with Zoe and David. It's next Tuesday. That's right. Yeah, yeah, the 29th. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But Batold is not going to come that day. Ah, uh, he is. He is. Oh, he is. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get a ride with Zoe. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So there's another uh, mm -hmm. drop here. What? <laughs> I don't even want to look down. <laughs> yeah, well, because yeah, yeah, it's 360, so people should be able to see it yeah. uh, if they look down. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll try to upload this one in high definition, just because it's, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah, because of the visual. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's, there's a lot of good visuals here. Yeah, be careful. It's uh, The rocks are slippery. So, property, hmm. What's that? So, I, I was thinking, so one of the ways you can split the property is like have it like kind of a narrow entrance along oh. this, and then... Uh, well, the, the driveway, I, I, I think, is kind of in an unsafe spot just for pulling out because it's at mm -hmm. the... It's out at the top of the hill. Oh, okay. Uh, I've always wanted to move that. Oh, okay. Just because of, to the other see, side? Well, to the top of the hill, which is more like behind where I live. Oh, okay. Which is uh, south of, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because um, there is some speeding cars there sometimes, especially in the summertime. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that's the only issue I see with it. At the entrance. Right. So you said there's a road allowance? Uh, so, yeah, basically th there's, uh, you know, I'm wondering if the driveway might count as kind of road access. Uh, yeah. Or if, if it has to be on the actual street street. Um, that That's kind of... Oh. Because I guess if it, it, you could probably use the driveway and then it would be like an easement, a right of way easement. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it, right of way. That's yeah. the only way to do it, really. Yeah, so 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 then then you could uh, but, kind but of... It's good to have two entrances, yeah. anyway, I would say. Yeah, you, you, yeah. You can, we can also do it, yeah, the lengthwise and then have two entrances. Yeah. Uh, so, so then um, you could have one kind of 12 hectare strip and then the other 12 hectare strip. So, okay, now uh, we split it up, but does every person have to have a, a spot to garden? So every, so, or, so, or so what, a, once- More of a shared garden. So once we figure out the um, kind of the, what, what is the 12 hectare campground cooperative? So, okay, um, I was talking to the total about the campground idea. Mm -hmm. He says, well, he doesn't think that's a good idea. Oh. So that's, that's something we have to discuss too. Okay. But okay. I have to find out why he thinks that. So. Uh, I, uh. I I think it might be a terminology thing because I, I remember I was telling him that we just have to use that terminology because that's that's the zoning. All right. Uh, that, that's but, how. It's but really, zoned. what does it involve? Like, okay, mm -hmm. do they uh, 
pay for the actual land or do they lease it? So the the but, idea because, because you cannot sever land in my no area. yeah it's not sever so it, it's so it's, it's leased then it's it's not leased uh, so the idea is um, as a campground cooperative you have a land share oh so you can buy the share so then then the, the a one the, hectare okay, share then my land would be registered as a corporation then. Or, or so so the would campground be, cooperative portion of it would, would, would be, be a cooperative corporation would be a cooperative corporation exactly okay. Yeah, and there would be a board of directors. Uh, obviously. well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have all the you know trappings. And, and, the, of and a, the members would be on on the board of directors. Or, each member. Well, it, it in a cooperative, every member gets a vote. Gets so a vote. Okay. yeah, so and e each each member is worth one vote, kind oh, of thing. Right. Uh, and so basically, the board of directors, um, it's it's a fairly flexible system. Yeah. Uh, basically, usually. You want to have a secretary, a treasurer, and a chair or a president. Okay. Um, and that's just to kind of uh, like deal with the administrative kind of hassle. But all of the decisions yeah. are actually done by the membership so, in membership meetings. So if there is some, someone that's difficult or mm -hmm. challenging, right? How easy is it to remove that person from the from the cooperative? Yeah. So, so that would be uh, something that would be agreed upon in the bylaws. Would it have to be a unanimous vote, you think? Or so it, it doesn't have to. Uh, okay. So generally, um, I would I would think it would be a two thirds vote. Okay. Uh, and uh, so, say for instance, they have a land share. Yeah. Then they would have to be bought out. Uh, they would have to be bought out exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and get their money back. Yeah. yeah. And so that would have to be in the bylaws. Yeah. So okay. so when they're they're buying the land, they so, know what they're getting. So into. when they get bought out, the money goes into an account, and that. So so whoever buy, buys them out uh, oh, pays somebody, them. Well, it wouldn't go back into the corporation. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 money when they get bought out, the money goes to the person that was uh, taken out. Right. That's yeah, that's how yeah. it works usually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the land share goes back to the the corporation. The corporation. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. 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 Or if if it was a particular individual that uh, gave the cash for the land share, then they buy oh. that land share. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now the the, the the banks. I know that there's. Remember for the meeting we had, and about the co-ops and mm -hmm. down there that there was uh, mentioned that there is a. Uh, a credit union that gives out money for for this type of thing for cooperatives. Oh yeah, I, I think one. Zoe. Yeah, Zo Zoe's father. No, it's always uh, no, that wasn't Zoe. It was um, the lady that's, that, that's up front. What's her name? I keep forgetting her name. Kelsey. Kelsey. Yeah. Her uh -huh. father uh, did some research on that. Her dad. Oh okay. Well, well, I know Zoe was telling us about it. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I wrote it down somewhere. There's some. Uh, I, I'm sure she'll yeah. be able to uh, tell us uh, yeah. at our Tuesday meeting. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. So so over here there's another big one. Oh, we gotta go over that. Yeah. Here we, we can go over here. It's this is the easiest route. Just be. Uh, oh, I don't like that. Uh. <laughs> it's just there's no way around. <laughs> I think we go back. I don't want to go back. You 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 you, you want to go back? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, we can go back. My shoes are not that. Okay. Not much grip on them, right? Oh, oh well well uh, I was planning on holding on to the trees. Yeah. Here, let, let's see if there's there's another way. I didn't expect this. He's always practicing. Yeah. A bit much, eh? Yeah. Yeah. We might be able to cross over here. I think it gets pretty close over there. Oh, we have to come back the same way? No, 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 we don't have to. Uh, it's just we, we can, uh, it's faster if we uh, manage to get across somewhere. Here, over there, there's a big rock. We can just go over there. There, and then there's no crack. There. Yeah, yeah. So, so go up to that tree. Yeah. Go up to this cedar over here. And then go across there? And then go across here, yep. Oh, there's a crack there. 
Well, well, it's just that there's nothing under it. All right. I mean, as in, a, like, this, it it's, has a bottom. How about this way? You want to go that way? You can go that way. There, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll be heading back uh, very soon. Because these shoes are, are flat in the bottom. There's no grip at all. Oh, okay. I, I don't really have any good hiking shoes. Oh, I see. They, they wore out, actually. Oh, you did have them, eh? Well, I had a few of them, but mm -hmm. my place, I'm doing a lot of walking, they don't last very long. Oh, I see. The, the, yeah. These ones, they have a 5,000 mile warranty. Yeah, probably on uh, regular paths, not in the forest. Well, it, it is, I mean, concrete it, it is generally... Really uh, yeah, concrete is okay, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, it, it wears down shoes pretty much, like, quite a bit, I mean. Well, I think it's the weather mostly, the dampness in the forest that wears down the shoes. Oh, I see. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that, that's what wears mine down. Oh, okay, okay. The, the, uh, I thought you meant the, the soles. On the ground, the, the mm -hmm. soil, the, yep. the, the plants, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Deteriorates everything. Yeah. Like, I've, I've been using my, um, my work boots. Right. But they haven't even lasted six months. They're already done. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, I try to try to get the, the, the best is rubber boots. Rubber boots. Yep. Right. That's the best. Yeah. Yeah. That's what most of the farmers wear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those green rubber boots. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. And they're cheap, too. They're great. Yeah. Great. Yeah, as long as it works. Well, it works and it keeps your feet dry, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not looking forward to the winter. You have to layer all these clothes and everything. It's, oh I yeah. I don't like that part. Oh no. Oh, I okay. like just to go out. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. But you know, once once you're nice and warm. Yeah. Once you get used it, to it's it. It's like it's just so nice. Like being out there, it's so quiet. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, and usually what I do is I take a hot shower, then uh -huh. I go out. Oh. That okay. warms up your body temperature, right? Oh okay. Probably not good for you because it opens your pores up too, though. Yeah, I don't know. I I would I usually take a cold shower. That's probably better for you. Yeah. I, I have to get past that initial fear of the cold the coldness, you know. Yeah. But it is better. I, I've been reading articles on that too, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm hmm That's right. It's healthier for you. Yeah, generally in the winter I always end everything with a cold shower. Just just because yeah. otherwise it confuses your body. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Yeah. I gotta try that this winter. Mm -hmm. There's there's another small crevice over here. Oh that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad, we don't Not have to walk bad. around. Well, there's no angles. That, uh, that part over there, there was all these angles, you know? Yeah, yeah, and the rocks are pretty slippery. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be able to head back really soon. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah. And you got these uh, hydro lines here, right? Yeah. They've been here for a long time, it seems. Yeah. The power corridor. Here, we can head back here. Okay. So, okay, now, I, I, I've never asked you about your green religion. I, oh, okay. You know, I don't Go know ahead. if you want to share sure. that. Yeah, I'm happy like, to. What, what, where did it come from? Did you, did you make it? Or is it something so, that you... so it's mostly based on Buddhism. Yeah. Um, and uh, the Dalai Lama said to integrate science to Buddhism. Yeah, okay. And so I just did a bunch of research on... Uh, Various topics and integrated them, and so so you're not against uh, scientific things like uh, oh. uh, the CRISPR kits, you know those ones where you oh change oh your DNA. gene modification G gene modification. I, I just saw a documentary on it. Well, uh, well uh, I don't know. Like, you, I mean, I'm not personally like, 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 like they say. Well, it's, it's being God, and we shouldn't try oh. and be God. Yeah, no, I no. I, I have. I, there's no kind of religious uh, issues yeah. with it. Yeah. Um. No, it, it's just uh, generally so, so science is the main thing. Even scientists say there's yeah. lots of side effects. And well, you, side effects to everything, you know. You know. Yeah, yeah, and you, you can argue that endlessly. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, it's well, it's just CRISPR. You're not supposed to experiment on yourself. But people are uh, going to because so. they can't afford the big million dollar price tag on. Right. Um, people have, and yeah. I know that people have died oh, because yeah. they did the CRISPR. But stuff but on the other hand, if you don't have a choice, stuff. and you're gonna. Well, that's Die anyway. The the people that don't have a choice are mostly Americans. Yeah, because, because it, of the, it, the high cost of because uh, healthcare. they they don't have healthcare exactly. exactly yeah. In that's Canada, ridiculous. it's it's not really an issue. 
because uh, that's right. but, yeah. but but there's they're covering less and less in Canada as well. They're oh, taking yeah. away a lot of things, right? Well, um, in, ter in terms of there. in yeah. terms of healthcare, I, I have done some research on it, and uh, one of the main things yeah. that's important for good health is uh, learning. Yeah, a and. Uh, yeah. Like if if your soul deems it worthwhile uh -huh. to still use your body, yeah, then you can have good health. <laughs> oh, you mean use your body like as in like to to, to to incarnate in your body to to be in your body. So if oh, if, oh, if right. your if your soul decides that it doesn't like being in your body, yeah, then uh, your body will likely get sick. Uh, and then oh, it'll, 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 your your soul will reject your body. Exactly, basically. your soul will reject it, your it'll body. It'll become a, an issue, a, I, exactly. a virus, or, yeah. well, well, right? Like like cancer yeah, or I, a, I a whole host of so, other potential so issues. So in your teachings, then you teach to connect with your with your body. Is that, so like what you? Uh, well, uh, that the, there is uh, one one of the meditations uh, like for connecting with your body is present moment awareness. All right. Meditation. So that's where. Uh, so we like stand and you know we're just aware of everything that's happening right now uh -huh. like uh there's the breeze you know and you're you're feeling the breeze yeah and then you're seeing these beautiful colors you know and then like you're feeling your hand and yeah you can like touch this bark uh -huh. you know and then you're just feeling it it's like has a, like a roughness and it's it's yeah. interesting you know and just like really being aware of everything you know yeah, and really how, appreciating how it, makes it. You feel how, uh, how you react Oh, well, it's 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 not necessarily listening to how you react to it, but appreciating what you're oh, experiencing. Oh, so right. you're taking control of your so, mind. So without, you're administrating without, your mind without letting other things pop into your mind. Yeah. Uh, that, well, I mean, like other saying? things could arise, but it, for, for for the yeah. present moment awareness yeah. meditation, which could be one minute, two minute, five minute, oh, whatever however, it might be, whatever that is, the focus okay. is to you know continue experiencing uh -huh. the present and appreciating it um, yeah. and that just helps kind of ground you in the present so you don't take too many things too seriously like the problems in your life right it's a, so like a, a lot of um, like when people have uh, so, 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 so some of the problems that yeah. people have a lot of them are, are cognitive uh, yeah. So, so they think they have a problem. But they really don't. Yeah. But they, they really, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I've, I've noticed that you, you always make more of it than it is. Right. Or, t people tend or, to do. Or, that. or they, they could, anyways. Yeah, and so, they could, yeah. so that that's one of the kind of benefits of meditation. Yes. Is oh look look at how beautiful this is like oh, just yeah. right here you know like I know. it's so orange all around us. It's very nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's always changing. This yeah. will be different, like maybe in a few days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or even in a few hours with the yeah. wind blowing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the um, when we observe our minds, they're they're in Buddhism they're called tulpa. So um, they're basically mental formations. Yeah. Uh, in evolutionary biology, it's considered to have been a predator evasion strategy. So we would kind of imagine what if there was like kind of a tiger in this woods where yeah. would they be hiding so we're always on, on uh, alert so 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 uh so we modeled the tiger in our mind all okay. right uh so but later on like when there weren't any tigers any left then we would model other people that are like predators like say for instance a parent or a teacher that might give you a reprimand if right. you don't behave correctly i see you know or for instance, some Christians or some some religious people may have uh, you know uh, imagine kind of a deity kind of figure that's watching out for their sins or, or something like that. Okay. Okay. So so in, in Buddhism, these are called tulpa because they're just mental formations. Um, and sometimes people spend a significant amount of their time interacting with these I imaginary people in their mind. And, oh, right. and uh, they so, so that form guilt. So so it, it could like say yeah. for instance, I I know of someone who I was talking to, and uh, their parent was uh, had many negative things to say to them as a child. Okay. And so it, and that turned into a tulpa. So uh, even after the parent had stopped saying the negative things, it's it's inbred. It's, it, in, it's it, in your mind. So so exactly the, the tulpa it, was telling great. them these things. Yeah. 
So the solution is um, basically to forgive the tupa and to uh, uh, forgive the tupa. The okay. tupa. So the tupa is. It, it's uh, just uh, a part of your mind. Oh, all right. And to have so compassion it's, for is it. Is it like a loop in your mind? It's basically like a loop in your mind. So it's, yeah. it's basically a part of your mind that's telling which you, you have things. allocated to simulate. So if you forgive it, it'll leave. Uh, well, uh, so so f I'll give you an example. Yeah. Okay. One time I was standing in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and then I heard a tulpa saying some mean things to me. Uh, and then oh. I I turned to the tulpa in my mind and I said, "I forgive and love you unconditionally." And then, um, because vibrationally you have to reflect what's going on, it could not reflect unconditional love and forgiveness with what are the things it was saying, so it just dissipated and disappeared. Oh, okay. So it never came back? <laughs> it never came back. <laughs> uh, but, but I have been working on it a while, so, I mean, it, it took many years to get kind of uh, clear of all the tulpas yeah. in my mind. Um, and you know, so, occasionally it's it's still I have some thoughts which uh, may well, not be as positive as they could be, you so, know. And but yeah. I, I I I forgive myself and I say, okay, so what's a more positive version of this, yeah. you know? And then uh, then I say, okay, I'm going to think that instead. Okay, so say so you come across somebody in day to day. Mm -hmm. uh, life and and they're kind of uh, negative towards you right uh, they maybe attack you or they make fun of you or whatever it might yeah. be how do you so, deal with somebody so, like so, so exactly in the same way yeah. you say you know I forgive you for this these things that you're doing mm -hmm. and I love you unconditionally and, and, that, and then you just and usually silent, you don't react uh, and, you and, don't, and, gen and generally speaking that that's the like that silence is that too <laughs> because oh. like well how, how many times does someone tell you that they forgive you and love you unconditionally right oh <laughs> hardly ever exactly and so yeah. people just don't know what to they say at that point react. yeah, yeah. I, I, because yeah at that point it's like well yeah you know so so one time i was kind of in a heated discussion with someone uh -huh. and i said i forgive you for for what, th this and then they said they forgive me too Oh, that was nice. Yeah, and then like uh, they they were still a little bit fumy, but after a few days we had hugs, and uh, everything was okay, okay then. So, in other words, it's <laughs> it's okay to disagree. Uh, and, and yeah. And your, your faith. Like, in your... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Everything basically because of the infiniteness of cre all creation. Yeah. Uh, everything has some validity. Okay. You know. But people get heated in, in their in their viewpoint, and they just want to push it through, and they want. So, convince you that theirs is right and yours is wrong. So, it, so, so how do you? It, it just I don't believe in right and wrong. Yeah, I, I don't either. So basically, the um, so everybody can have a good anybody can have a good argument. Right. And, and convincing. The idea so is look at Trump, right? He's a so the, the, Dolores Cannon and several other the researchers have uh, found that uh, physicists are correct uh, yeah. in string theory that there's multiple dimensions of time. Yeah, I, I'm into that. Yeah. I, I like uh, physics and yeah. I, I try to understand it as best I could. Mm. I don't and know how far you're into that. So but. so yeah, and so yeah. how we tune to these dimensions of time yeah. is with our minds. All right. So say for instance, there's someone who says, you know, the client like say that they're really fervently believing. Okay, the climate is collapsing and we're all going to die by 2050. Okay, and they well, really want to convince me of this fact. Well, I, I refuse to believe that. Okay, okay, here. So, so, so let's. Uh, in, in my so, opinion. <laughs> so, w w how would I approach this situation? Okay. I would say, okay, well, you can believe that, and then you can experience it. You know. And let but me because know. of the infinite number of uh, timelines, yeah. I can go to a different timeline where the climate is sustained oh. and we create a new paradise. Oh, so and you can okay. join me in that. Or you can go on your timeline. Oh, it's so, okay. It's so, just free will. So, so you believe that we, we can travel through these timelines in our minds? So uh, like, using our minds to... Yeah. So, so, so that person could actually go in that direction? Yes. So, and, and, and not be in, in our yes, timeline? Yes, exactly. All right. That so, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Like what, one of the kind of more uh, kind of esoteric... Uh, teachings that I read in Dolores Cannon 
was that Dolores Cannon. The uh, Dolores Cannon was a hypnotherapist that. Uh, oh, all right, all right. Uh, she would regress people to a very deep state of consciousness. Um, she was, so she's not no longer around. Yeah, she 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 she's deceased, but yeah. well, she's still available in the kind of a, as a soul uh, all right. that you can talk to if if you really wanted to. So she has a number of books that she's written. Yeah, yeah, she, she has got a lot of books that she wrote while she was oh. alive. Okay. Um. Because you know thousands of uh, and, and when was she alive? What? When uh, she so I think she died in 2016 or, oh, or right, something so that's like recent. that. Okay. It's pretty recent, yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, so one of them was saying that basically how it works is that everyone that we're not interacting with has a minimal. Uh, uh, so. If it, do you know about like quantum mechanics and stuff? Uh, I've uh, touched on it. Yeah. yeah. I kind of and so uh, do, you, do you know how they say basically when you're not observing something, yeah, it's like it, it doesn't, doesn't exist? exist. Yeah, right. Yeah. So when you're not interacting with someone, they are just, uh, the universe is just giving a minimal computation of them. Okay. So, so they're, they're just kind of like part of the background scenery yeah. until you come up to them and start interacting with them. And and then and, and then that kind of like uh, then that clicks into like someone that's actually like a real person that you interact with and stuff like that. All oh, right. And and then 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 you have to like merge vibrations and things like that. Okay. You know? So that's kind of like being bombarded with ads and commercials and, well, and well, that kind of takes your focus away. And, well, well, and, the you know. the idea is that there's a because of all of these timelines you're right yeah. and we're all going into our own separate kind of timeline worlds uh -huh. so we need to have a fairly believable timeline if we want to have lots of people in it all right that's believable to a large number of people so that, that agree with your timeline your what you see your perception on things well yeah that, that agree with yeah basically like the things that you're accomplishing and yeah. stuff like that all right. like say for instance if, same path. yeah if if we started like flying around and creating houses with our minds and uh, okay you know and stuff like that, a lot of people wouldn't really believe in that unless they're in it as well. Well, unless they're in it as well, and okay. then it, it would be kind of hard to sustain uh, I see. with with a large population. Uh, so, but by being kind of like humble yeah. and limited in uh, the things that. Oh, we can accomplish so yeah. that it's a lot of people can accomplish the same things. But but it's not to say that we 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 cannot we can fly. We probably can. Fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's not. That yeah, we it's can't. it's it's there's, not there's saying that we can. that we can do, but we're just not aware of. Because yeah. Oh, oh. We, I think we're going think the wrong we, way. Yeah. Yeah. It's this way. <laughs> I had a feeling. Yeah. 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 So, uh, like, in in Buddhism, basically, like there are all those superpowers, but they're considered kind of a distraction. So okay, so your your green religion is is a is a, a branch of Buddhism? Is it, so, is it something that actually is it does it exist? Is there so, other so green members of green religion? Yeah. Well, well, I, it, it's forming right now. So I so, mean, so I you, got a few you, people you have, in the Facebook group. So this right? is your your little uh, branch of uh, Buddhism. Buddhism. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. it's inclusive of all faiths. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, like all of the different faiths had the same. The same uh, uh, prophecies that yeah. we would eventually get to a new paradise, and okay. uh, Dolores Cannon found in her research that about since about two thousand and five, mm -hmm. uh, people are no longer allowed to incarnate on Earth if they have bad karma. Or, oh, or really? the, so basically. So, so you mean like all the, all the the negative people are not going to be reincarnated on Earth? So Earth right. is, is in for. A transformation. Right, exactly. Right now it's in a transition period. I've heard that from so many people. Yeah. There, there's yeah. there's a lot of people here that uh, basically they have to decide uh -huh. if they're going to have, you know, forgiveness and compassion for all beings. Yeah. Or if they're going to reincarnate on a different planet that's more primitive. Oh, it's so Where they can like continue more... their lessons. Oh, all right. So then they'll, they'll be more like... More of a struggle in, in their life than in the other planets. Like right. More, more, yeah. Like, so say for instance, there's someone that, you know, like, is really big on swordsmanship. All right. You know, and uh, they want to really experience, the you battle. know, fight 
fighting battles and stuff. It's I just see. there's not going to be much of that. Not here. Not, not on this planet. Okay. So they just have to go to a different planet to experience but, but, that in the but future. Are, are they going to be conscious? Of, of it of oh so so yeah in in between lives they will be conscious of this decision oh, right. so uh michael newton did lots of he dedicated basically his whole life to researching uh between life phenomenon okay so he's regressing people to between lives so, so that's like 